Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Starting things up with the European Open here. Uh, let's see what we got. First things first, cable yesterday opened and closed at 61. Not really sure where it wants to go, but we still favor this topside break, 139.92. We think that this 140 area is just going to attract and eventually break this week. Could be this morning, could be this afternoon, could be tomorrow. Uh, so we're just ready to roll. I think price is above 92 today. We'll yield figure, and then we're looking for a move up to 140.40 on this. So this is one to watch. Euro, very small range yesterday, not much going on. You could argue that the ECB folks were dovish, uh, but they were kind of neutral. Media is saying dovish. Privateer saying neutral. Price is saying I don't care. So we we'll just sit and wait. We know the points in... Uh, in euro dollar 122.70 will yield 121.60 and then on the top side 124.50 no trades in euro at the moment dollar yen just kind of sitting around here now we've we broke lower through the 106.20 area that 200 hour we were talking about yesterday uh, we have printed 105.80 tonight bit late to the game to be uh, smashing dollar yen for any reason. I think we're just going to sit tight and wait. The range lows obviously are 105.26 and we do know there's a whole kerfuffle of derivatives at 105 so we'll have to take a look at that if we get closer to 105 to figure but for now no trade in dollar yen either. Yen cross is all fairly lower Urian in the end yesterday worked out pretty well. That was nice. We have these matching lows here at 130.98 or 131 the figure. Uh, equities are higher. Again, no, no real strong feeling on Urian from here. We're square again and we will relook at this if there's risk off. 131 might be interesting. Dollar CAD. As oil was cruising towards 60 bucks yesterday, dollar CAD printed up 129.76. I was pretty sure that we were going to uh, test 130, but oil changed direction, euro changed direction, and we kind of drooped off there. Trade all the way back down to uh, 25. Now we're at 55. Again, same principles as cable. Prices above 85 should attract full interest towards 130. There will be some risk above as in stops above. Anyone who's a long or medium term short has to question their positions as we break 130. So this is definitely something we're watching today. Same themes as yesterday. Cable and dollar cad. What else is out there? Alliance is killing Bitcoin. Headline in Bloomberg, Bitcoin is worthless. Hold your breath. Stick your bids in. 72, 62. Bitcoin is not worthless. The whole idea of Bitcoin is it's worth more because there is no single backer of the currency. The more big players, old-fashioned finance guys who tell me this is worthless, the more I'm just going to say, great. They don't understand. They will come into this eventually. It's going to take time, and our strategy remains the same. We're going to try and pick up cheap ones here, sell 80% of it, get your average down around 2000 bucks, and then sit. 
this, there could be a protracted painful period coming up, as in protracted a couple of months, three months. Uh, and so you really have to check yourself on this. And, and if you really believe, believe. And if you really don't believe, then don't believe. Um, but these will be testing times the next couple of weeks for all of the crypto world. Our strategy remains the same. What else we got out there? Kiwi and Aussie. Aussie, we were looking at this um, 40 level. So 76, 46. Somewhat interesting. But the Aussie Kiwi CAD complex, we're going to need some risk off for this to make its move. So we just wait and see how the picture develops. Equities came off pretty hard yesterday printed down 49 a quarter. Today we've had a new low already, 45. Back up to 60. Do not expect a new daily high today. You can sell high ones if you like. We're actually square now stocks, um, but our bias is left-hand side. All right, that's it. Focusing on cable. Dollar CAD today. Good luck, people.